what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? In April of 2016, a 13-year-old boy was shot by officers of the Baltimore Police Department. The boy ran when faced with police, so the police gave chase. This is according to the police. They spotted a gun on the boy at some point, and when he turned, they shot him. The youngster wasn't critically injured, and this seemed like an open and shut case of justifiable force. Until now. The biggest police corruption scandal in Baltimore's history recently went to trial with the case revealing everything from cops being a part of the Northeast Baltimore drug crew to robbing suspects and innocent citizens of cash and reselling drugs on the street. But one of the most notable revelations to come from the case is cops using toy guns as an evidence plant just in case they shot an unarmed person. The use of toy guns came to light when Officer Maurice Ward, a member of the Baltimore Police Department's gun trace task force was arrested and a toy gun was found in his glove compartment. Ward and other members of the task force were instructed by the unit supervisor, Sergeant Wayne Jenkins, to keep toy guns with them, with Jenkins himself keeping a collection of BB guns on hand so he could plant them on people in case of an officer-involved shooting. This is according to a report from CBS Baltimore. Ward revealed the information when he took the stand Tuesday, January 23rd, as the first witness for prosecutors in the case. Overall, a dozen of dirty ass cops from the task force were arrested and charged. Now, y'all tell me if this is an epidemic or not. Does this once again question whether Baltimore police officers plant evidence and charge people falsely to protect officers. And even bigger than that, do law enforcement throughout America plant evidence and create false charges? You bet your draws they do. This is no surprise, and this is the sad part. I, he, I haven't even started reading the comments yet. And I know that people are saying, I ain't surprised. Oh, what's new? Welcome to America. This is the temperature. When you think of police officers in America, this is the temperament. This is how people feel. This ain't just a feeling. These are facts backed up by documented cases after case after case after case of police misconduct and flat out corruption. Where's Elliot Ness when you need him? America got a serious problem with its so-called law enforcement. They got criminals chasing criminals. In many cases, criminals chasing innocent civilians, destroying people's lives. This is who they are. This, these are not exceptions to the rule. These are, this is the rule. You, like you damn, you got to be this type of person to be a cop. And, <sighs> Say, man, if I, if I just didn't know, personally didn't know some real cool ass dudes that are cops, I mean, I really would just say this is all it is and that's it, that's it. But they in there, man, God bless them. They trying their asses off to try to get it right. They trying to run intervention. They trying to, they trying the best to infiltrate and just whatever dirty shit they doing, try to stop some of it from going down. Like, Hey, man, it's the institution, man. It's what it is. This is who they are. These stories keep coming out over and over and over again. This is, it's not a rarity. And you know what? It's not just law enforcement. 
It's the crooked, dirty, low-down judicial system that provides protection to them when they commit crimes. It's the politicians who give them passes. It's all of it, man. They all in the same game. It's the judges, it's the juries, it's the prosecutors, especially the grand juries. This is before the case even go to a jury. The grand jury decides if they want to indict. Is there, is there sufficient evidence to indict, right? It's all corrupt. We need to start a Me Too for law enforcement abuse. Police abuse. Me too. Let's start the movement right now. Let's go. I heard that they uh, dust off their guns and crack cocaine before they go out into the field. No more talk. Damn.